Oh, Billy Korean. Where is Billy going? Hey, hey. Yeah, go Billy. Huh? Shall we make a brother move silly? Anyang. <laughs> Hi, I'm Billy. And in this video series, we'll be ah. learning how to read and write Hangul. Hangul is the word for the Korean alphabet. Early. Now, you might be afraid to learn Hangul or think that it's too difficult. Because at first glance, it might just look like a bunch of circles and sticks, kind of like an alien language. But once you learn the basics of how it works, Hangul is really simple to learn. You can actually learn how to read and write it in just a few hours with some practice. I should also note that although it might be tempting to just write Korean using the English alphabet instead of learning Hangul, doing this will really hurt your progress in the language as soon as you begin learning any grammar. Okay. So learn Hangul now, and you'll thank me later. Hangul okay. is unique because unlike other writing systems, it was created fairly recently, in the mid-1400s by the king at the time, who was named Sejong. Before Hangul was created, the majority of Koreans simply could not read or write their own language. So people who were wealthy and educated at the time would instead read and write using the Chinese language because the Korean language didn't have a writing system. Fortunately for us, Hangul is an alphabet just like English uses an alphabet. So you won't have to memorize thousands of characters like you would if you wanted to read and write Chinese or Japanese. Mm. Instead, there are just 24 unique letters that you'll need to know in order to read and write any sound that you want using Hangul. So let's get started learning our first few letters. Here's our first letter, and it's a consonant. What is a consonant? Hangul, just like the English alphabet, is made up of consonants and vowels. Now, vowels are the letters A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, as you probably learned in school. And consonants are just every other letter that's Bruh, not a vowel. Really knew what these in order to make a sound or a <laughs> Bro, even in the English language, I never knew what these vowels and consonants <laughs> Okay, let me look that up real quick. A basic speech sound in which the breath is at least partly obstructed and which can be combined with a vowel to form a syllable. Am I dumb? I ain't gonna lie. This man is teaching me English too. <laughs> Letters A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes oh Y, as you probably learned in school. And consonants are just every other letter that's not a vowel. In order to make a sound or a syllable in Korean, we'll need at least one consonant and one vowel together. Okay. To write this letter, start from the top left and draw it all in one stroke, going to the right and then downward. Do we gotta... You can pause the video to practice writing it yourself. Oh, writing write these this. letters and- We gotta write these out. That's just how we gonna learn, you feel me? Hold on, let me grab my notebook. And I need to find a pen, bro. To write this letter, start from the top left and draw it all in one stroke, going to the right and then downward. Jesus. You can pause the video to practice writing it in one stroke, going to the right and then downward. You can pause the video to practice writing it yourself. Writing these letters in the correct order is very important mm -hmm. because some letters can actually appear to be different letters if their stroke order is done incorrectly. Nah, I definitely know that. You'll see examples of this later, but for now focus on learning the correct stroke order with each new letter and Wait, it'll save you a lot of time later on. What do you mean K or G? This though? letter is pronounced similar to a K or a G in English. Uh. It's not a strong K sound like in the word kite, but it's also not a strong G sound like in the word great. It's between a K and a G and a bit softer. Now, since this is just a consonant by itself, it doesn't have a sound. So in order to give it a sound, we'll first need to add a vowel. Let's go ahead and learn our first vowel, and then we'll come back to this letter to hear what it sounds like. Okay. Here's our second letter, and it's a vowel. To draw it, start at the top and draw a single line down. Then, draw a second shorter line to the right. Practice writing this on your own a few times. I did it. I did it. I'm this him. letter is pronounced ah. 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 Such as in the words la <laughs> or car in oh. American English. I was gonna say when you stub your now toe. Now that we have a vowel, we can give our first consonant <laughs> a sound. So let's put them together and create our first syllable. I... In Korean, syllables are written arranged into blocks. This is the first type of block that we'll be using. C stands for consonant and V stands for vowel. Vowel. And there are six types of blocks that we'll use depending Whoa. on which. Let me go ahead and just screenshot that. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. V stands for vowel. 
and there are six types of blocks that we'll use depending on which vowels we use and how many letters. Uh -huh. We'll talk about when to use other block types as we learn more letters, and once we've learned all 24 letters, you'll already know which blocks to use. Since we've only covered one consonant and one vowel so far, mm -hmm. we can put the two of them together in this order and to make curve. our first sound. The, the, the consonant curves. And here it is. Just like in English, if we take our K or G sound and attach an A sound, we get the sound Ka. <laughs> ka. Ka. Notice how it's not ka, ka and it's not ga, but it's ka. Ah, this sound ka. is between a K and a G in English. Ka. Practice it on your own. Ka. 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 And one more time. Ka. ka. I feel like Here's our next letter, which is another consonant. I don't know. To draw it, start at the... I feel like I'm still saying K, though. Ha. Ah. But not ga. But not k. Ah. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I'm... I don't know. Ka. Ah. Ka. Ah. Here's our next letter, which is another consonant. To draw it, start at the top and draw it all in one stroke, well, who going down the and bottom, to the right. Though? That would be crazy. Practice writing it on your own. It's like drawing an L this way. This letter is similar You're to insane. N, such as in the word now in English. If we combine it with our vowel, A, ah, we can hear that this letter would become Na. Na. Mm -hmm. And one more time. Na. Okay. Okay. A, ah, we can hear that this letter would become Na. Na. Ka. Na. <laughs> And one more time. Nah. nah. <laughs> Here's another consonant. It's drawn in oh two pieces. First, draw a horizontal right line going from left to right. Left to right. Then, draw a second line from the left of the first line, and in one stroke, go down and to the right. Okay. Practice writing it on your own. <laughs> Why don't you just say go down and go right? Why you said all the extra words? This letter is similar to a T or a D sound in English, but it's not a hard T sound like in the word time, and it's not a hard D sound like in the word dog. Why are you making that it's so... between T and D, and is a bit softer. We can combine this consonant with our vowel A ah, and hear it sound directly. Pa. What? Pa. Pa. Oh, you just gotta t t ta. Not ta. Ta. <laughs> you can already see how it could be difficult to read and write hunger using English letters because already two of our four letters can't even be written correctly using English. Mm. Let's do a bit of practice. Try reading the following sounds on your own without looking at your notes. Okay. Um. That's. So the first, the middle one is nah. Ta, and then ka. Too easy. You can pause the video here. Hold, here on, are the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Me right. Here are the answers. Ka, na, ta. <laughs> I'm locked in. And again. In. Ka, ah. na, nah. ta. Ah. <laughs> Practice these sounds yes, on your uh, own. Even writing each letter individually, I did. I wrote, writing I wrote them a... together, mm -hmm. and then sounding them out. The key to learning Hangul quickly is practicing it as much as possible. Okay. In the I next lesson, doing that. we'll cover. I have not been doing that. The first time, no, I think it was what was it? The first time I learned Hangul, and she kicked my ass <laughs> to the point where I ran. I ran to Duolingo. <laughs> You doing this for free is crazy. In the next lesson, we'll cover more <laughs> consonants and vowels, and we'll learn another important syllable block. Okay. And I upload new videos to this channel every week, so click subscribe and follow along. I bet. I'm going to do that. Whoa. What? What? I was about to say, this video is an hour, but what you mean? <laughs> Why is the screen turning dark? I bet. Annyeong. What I'ma do? What I'm thinking of doing is splitting this up into parts. Cause if I watch the full hour and a half, I'm not. No, that's just too much knowledge, bro. My brain is gonna overload. I'm gonna watch up to the first 20 minutes, and then the next video we'll just we'll just do it into four parts of 20 minutes. That'll be an hour and 26 minutes. Yeah. All right, let's continue. 
My fault, Billy. Yo, is your name really Anyang? And Billy? welcome to the second part in this lesson. In the last Anyang. part, we introduced the basics of Hanga and learned our first three consonants and our first vowel. Hanga, oh we did. We also covered our first syllable block. In this video, we'll learn five more consonants and a vowel, as well as another syllable block that we can use. Okay, bet. Practice section. So let's get started learning our next six letters. All right. Here's our next letter, which is a consonant. Mm. To draw it, start at the top left and draw a line down. Yeah. Then, going back to the top left, this, draw one stroke that weird. goes to the right and then down. Uh -huh. Finally, make one more horizontal line from the bottom left to the bottom right. Why? Why Avoid the they... temptation to draw this using only one line, or it might be mistaken weird, for another bro. letter that we'll be learning about later. Practice writing this on your own a few times. Okay. This letter is similar to M, such as in the word mom in English. Mom. If we combine it with our vowel a, ah, we can hear that this letter would become ma. 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 <laughs> and one more time. Ma. ma. Here's another consonant. To draw it, Start at the top left and draw a line down. Mm -hmm. Then go to the top right and draw a second line down. Mm -hmm. Finally, draw two horizontal lines from left to right, from the middle of the first stroke and from the bottom of the first stroke, like this. Oh. Practice writing this on your own a few times. <laughs> I almost thought he... <laughs> Thank you, baby John H, bro. <laughs> okay. This letter strokes. is pronounced okay. similar to a P or a B I, in English, I, I but it's not a hard P sound like in the word park, <laughs> and it's not a hard B sound like in the word ball. It's between P and B, and is a bit softer. Ah. Ma. Here's another consonant. To draw it, start at the top left and draw a line down. Then go to the top right and draw a second line down. Finally, draw two horizontal lines from left to right, from the middle of the first stroke and from the bottom of the first yeah, stroke. Yeah, I really thought like that was this. an H at first. I ain't gonna lie. Practice writing this on your own a few times. Okay, I did. I wrote it three times. How this times letter is pronounced similar to a P or a B in English, but it's not a hard P sound like in the word park, Yo, you back and it's not a hard B sound like in the word ball. So it's between P and B, and is a bit softer. We can combine this consonant with pa. our vowel A ah, and hear its sound directly. Pa. 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 And once more. Pa. So like, pa. But pa. <laughs> okay, yo, I know my Korean rhyme finna be the ugliest thing. <laughs> pa. I'm writing in hieroglyphics, nigga. What? And once more. Pa. pa. Hey. Hey. Here's another consonant. Hey. To draw it, start at the top and draw a slightly curved line going down and sideways to the left. Slightly curved. Start again from the top. And this time, draw a similar line to the right. Practice writing this on your own a few times. Yes. So if you were to involve the This I, letter is similar to S, ha. such as in the word snake in English. Ha. If we combine it with our vowel A, ah, we can hear that this letter would become Sa. Sa. And one more time. Sa. I'm locked in. Are, are, are y'all writing this? No. <laughs> Here's our next letter, another consonant. <laughs> to draw it, yeah, make a horizontal <laughs> line from left to right. Whoa. I'm sorry. To I'm sorry. I'm going to need some time to write that because you, you, you're doing too much now at this point. But make a horizontal line from left to right. I did it. Then draw a slightly curved line going down and sideways to the left. Just as we did with our last letter. I'm not gonna lie, this looks a curved line going down and sideways to the left. That just as we did with our last letter. Kind of different, bro. Draw another similar line it to the don't right. Look at the same. Practice writing this on your own a few times. Okay. This Wait. letter is similar to a ch or a j sound in English, Ooh. but it's not a hard ch sound like in the word cherry, 
and it's not a hard J sound like in the word job. It's between CH and J, and is a bit softer. We can combine this consonant with our vowel A ah, and hear its sound directly. Cha. 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 <laughs> and once more. Cha. Here's our last consonant for this part. First, draw a short line from the top going down. Okay. Then draw a horizontal line from left to right. Finally, draw a circle underneath the horizontal line, starting from the top and going counterclockwise. Practice writing this on your own a few times. Well, what the hell did you just have me draw? But what is this? This letter is similar to H, such as in the word hand in English. Is it as harsh if as we the combine H it with our vowel hand? ah, we can hear that this letter would become ha. <laughs> nice. Ha. And one more time. Ha. Ha. Here's our second vowel. Okay. To draw it, start at the top and draw a line down. O. Then draw a second, longer horizontal line from the left to the right. O. Practice writing this on your own a few times. I did it two times. <laughs> this letter is pronounced o, o, such as in the word old in English. Old. Last time we learned how we can use this kind of block with our vowel a ah, to put our letters together and form a syllable. Yeah. Let's first use this same block again and the same vowel a ah, and practice the letters that we've learned in this part. Okay. Talk to me. Practice time. Try reading the following syllables on your own. Ma, pa, yeah, sa, yeah, cha, cha, ha, ha. Nice. But this kind of block is only used when the vowel is vertical. So far, we've learned a ah and o, oh. and of these two, only a ah is a vertical vowel since it goes up and down. Yeah. In order to use our new vowel o, oh, we'll need to use a different block that's for horizontal vowels. Here's that block. Remember that C stands for consonant and V stands for vowel. So let's do a bit more practice. Here are all of the consonants that we've learned so far, along with the vowel O, using our new syllable block. Try reading the following syllables on your own. Whoa. You can pause the video here. <laughs> <laughs> oh? <laughs> How you say it? Here are the answers. Ko. Yeah. Do. Do. To. Go. Mo. Mo. Po. So. So. Jo. Jo. Ho. <laughs> Practice these sounds on your own, writing each letter individually, writing them together, and then oh sounding them gosh. out. Remember that the key to learning Hangul quickly is practicing it as much as possible. Yeah. In the yeah, next lesson, know. we'll learn a few more letters as well as some new block types that we can use. And I upload new videos to this channel every week, so click subscribe and follow along. Okay. I'm very good at imitating, I ain't gonna lie. But I don't know what the hell I be saying. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Annyeong. Welcome Anyang. to the third lesson in this series. No, in the that. last part, we learned five additional consonants and one more vowel, hey, as well as another syllable block. In this video, we'll learn two more consonants and two new syllable blocks. Okay. We'll also do some additional practice using everything that we've learned so far. I bet. So let's get started. Here's our first letter, which is a consonant. Rattlesnake, it's an R. To draw it, start at the top left and draw a line to the right and then down. You Next, never drew a rattle draw the snake, second bro? horizontal line below that, starting from the left and going to the right. Whoa. Finally, draw the third line from the start of the second line, going down, That's... then to the right. I... Okay. Although it might seem easier to just draw this letter like a backwards S, doing so Whoa. can make the letter look unbalanced. It's best to draw this in three strokes instead of one. Practice writing this on your own a few times. Okay, fine. This letter sounds like it's between an L and an R in English. However, it's neither an L or an R. Instead, <laughs> to pronounce this letter, position your tongue as if you were going to say a D sound, such as in the word dog. B, 
but make an L sound instead. If we combine it with our vowel mm. A from before, la. we can hear that the sound would become La. 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 Ah. And one more time. La. La. Notice that it's not La, and it's definitely la. not Ra. La. Since it's pronounced. La. <laughs> what? If we combine it with our vowel A from before, we can hear that the sound would become La. 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 And one more time. La. La. Notice that it's not La, and it's definitely not Ra. Since it's pronounced using a different tongue position, you can hear how it's a softer sound. Here's La. our next consonant. Okay. It's simple to draw. Make a circle starting from the top and going counterclockwise. Practice writing this on your own a few times. This letter has two uses. Yeah, I drew the most First, perfect this letter can ever. be used at the beginning of a syllable to give an empty sound. Okay. Remember yeah, that yeah, in yeah, order to make true. a sound or a syllable in Korean, we'll need at least one consonant and one vowel together. So far, we've learned a few consonants that we can use with the vowels a and o, but we haven't yet learned how to make the sounds a and o on their own. Mm -hmm. We can use this new letter in place of another consonant to hear the vowel by itself. Here are two examples okay, using our okay. two vowels. Here we have the syllables a yeah. and o. It would just be a. Since this new consonant doesn't have any sound when it's used at the beginning of a syllable, we can use it instead of another consonant to hear the vowel sound directly. Yeah. In this way, it acts like an empty consonant. But this letter has two uses, and its second use is at the end of a syllable. But in order to use this consonant at the end of a syllable, we'll first need to learn a new kind of syllable block. Okay. So far, we've only learned two syllable blocks, one for horizontal vowels and one for vertical vowels. But these two syllable blocks that we've learned only allow us to use two letters in each one. In addition, these two syllable blocks only allow us to use a vowel at the end of them. So in order to use a consonant at the end of a syllable, we'll need to learn a new kind of syllable block that allows us to use three letters instead of two. Three syllable blocks? Here are the blocks? two new syllable blocks that we'll need. Jesus, we can use these the syllable blocks, which each use two consonants and one vowel, to create syllables that have three Bro, letters in Korean them. Speaking the left syllable money. block can be used with vertical <laughs> vowels, just like before. Bro, and the right what? syllable block can be used with horizontal vowels. Here are a few practice examples using these two new syllable blocks. You can pause the video here. <laughs> Bro. Tol, san, dab, sal, son, tan, hol, tan. What? Tol. Nigga. Remember that the type of syllable block depends on the type of vowel that you're using in it. We might have to stop it here, cause he is going. Like my brain isn't not computing this 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 third syllable syllable block, bro. Sis, sis. Syllable block? I need to be able to look at these and recognize them. I, I can't recognize them like that without looking at my notes. Tuesday is when I can practice some more. And then Wednesday is when we can move forward. We might have to throw in some lingo there too. Just to hone down the knowledge and whatnot. I'm liking this. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed that. For real, for real. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. Enough of me, man. No, seriously. Enough of me. I'm gonna leave y'all V. It's been your boy, Charlie Bluey. Good morning, good afternoon, good day, good night. Most importantly, but unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> Goodbye, goodbye, tribe. I love <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it's the end. Huh? Leave a like and share it to your friends and your kin. Huh? When I post a video, I'm gonna need y'all to attend. Huh? Thank you for the view, huh? but I ain't done with you. 2023, I'm about to be Jordan with the flu. Huh? Yeah, join a tribe. Huh? Yeah, join a tribe. I'm gonna need y'all to subscribe.